Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world today, welcome to my channel. If you guys are looking for travel, entertainment, adventure, please consider subscribing to my channel. Definitely hit that notification bell. And hey, drop a comment. I would definitely love to hear from you. As you guys can see, I am standing directly in front of the Delta Airlines Museum. I want to invite you guys to come hang out with me. And hey, let's go explore inside and see what amazing things that they have inside. Today, we're going to visit a state-of-the-art attraction to see some cool airplane jets with lots of history and innovation. Let's go back in time and take a walk down memory lane as we explore Delta's historic glamour and modern amenities they've created for their airline. Hey. Welcome to Delta Airlines. Yes, ma'am. Happy to have you. You can board. Then hop on board a massive jet and explore all its treasures, plus learn something new. Now, this video is not a boring aeronautical tour, but this will be an adventure into Delta's airline, Jets and Fun. Let's go explore, you guys. I want to invite you guys to come inside. So let's go inside and explore. See you guys inside. Okay, you guys, so we just arrived here at the Delta Museum, Flight Museum here, and upon arriving, before you can actually enter into this museum, you have to stop at the checkpoint and they give you this Flight Museum gas pass. So that's the first thing, first and foremost thing you get at the checkpoint. So without this, you cannot enter. So I just thought you guys should know that. Um, let's go inside, you guys, let's go check it out. Wow, do you guys see this? This is actually the prop era and look at these massive planes here. Take a look, you guys. Wow. And at the first of this museum is the prop era which is when our country was creating planes, they used propellers on the planes. So this whole room is gonna show us about why the propellers were about and the different planes that Delta in particular had with propellers. So let's go take a look. I wish I can show you guys how massive this thing is it doesn't look that big on camera but it is massive look at the engine that had these propellers go about that is amazing go ahead and here's what I'm telling you guys look how massive this propeller and engine is now you get a chance to see how big it is that's dope ain't it that is amazing wow huge wow so if you guys are wondering what kind of engine this is this is a radio propeller engine take a look check out this curtis wright cb sedan airplane wow look at the propellers i'm all about propellers today you guys it's just amazing how things have changed over the years Hey, look like they're trying to get on a plane here. Hey, y'all need some help? Right here? Huh? Oh, y'all got it? Okay then. What are you looking at? 
They don't need your help. They're going on vacation. I just see if they need some help. No, Excuse me. They're going on a Delta vacation. Okay, well y'all fly safely. Okay, y'all, so I want to show you guys these amazing exhibits here at this museum. This is a Douglas M2 aircraft. And along with that, I want to also show you guys this information board of the mailing system here. So I'm assuming this was a mail carrier airplane. And as I'm looking here, it says US Mail. Hmm, interesting. So I'm gonna pan down this way. And we're gonna move over to the next exhibit. Oh, you know what, That that is a wicker chair. So I'm assuming these are what the chairs looked like back then. Well, this is wow. a passenger, passenger um, plane. That's kind of the start. And maybe that's one of the chairs they use. Wow. And then here on the left, it says, this is what it changed to a little bit later. It, the next year, 1929. It went from this wicker chair to this chair. So this wow. Kind of interesting. So we got it good now. Look at the chairs we sitting in now on the planes. Wow. Here's an example of this. Here's another exhibit of this plane. Wow. That's really cool. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, y'all, so as I'm making my way around this museum, I noticed this Lockheed 10 Electra airplane here. And also I noticed this exhibit here, the exact replica of this plane. Look at the creativity that went into designing this amazing and beautiful exhibit. Check out the propellers. In 1940, Delta started implementing flight attendants and service to their passengers. So that's pretty cool. Since the 40s, they've been having uh, a little bit more attention to detail for their passengers as they fly. That's pretty cool. And here's their updated uniforms from 1949 to 1952. Classic, beautiful. Love that. So because more people wanted to actually fly, increased competitions resulted in reduced fares and made air travel affordable. So by the 1950s in the United States, more people was traveling by air than by train. But then by 1957, airplanes had replaced ocean liners as the preferred way to cross the Atlantic Ocean. You guys, this picture is their reservation system they used to have when people made reservations and how they processed it. Okay, you guys, so I'm just leaving out of the museum. I actually headed over to the plane. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like inside of a plane, inside of the cockpit, all of the above. So um, come check it out with me, guys. Meet me at the plane. Okay, so I have just arrived here at the tail end of this Boeing 747 aircraft. Take a look at this massive plane. Also take a look at the massive engines. I will show you guys when I get a little closer. But yeah, we're headed on this plane so you can guys can see exactly what's inside of this plane and how it functions. So let's go take a look. a plane all to myself <laughs> this is so cool this is the actual cabin of the 747 of what it would look like minus a seat or a row technically but here's your whole plane super cool anybody ready to take a Delta flight anybody anybody no no one no one no one oh man Okay, you guys, so now we're entering to the 747 aircraft. Over here, there's another section, there's stairs, but I wanna start over in this area, the seating area. So take a look around. And what I can honestly say, you guys, it is empty in here, but at the same time, this is actually dope and very creative to actually experience and see how it looks here. Okay, you guys, so I'm actually making headway to this section of the aircraft, take a look. And there's a window here. And, hmm. 
take a look at this. This is where they actually prepare the food, the drinks for the passengers. And then we enter into another section. And the actual employee here, the associate actually told us that the planes are not actually designed like this, but this is just for display purposes. Okay, you guys, I wanted to show you this other unique seating area. This is actually the Delta One seating. And I can say this material here is pretty much leather and suede and actually folds back. And what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm flying a luxury, because that's what I do. Thank you. Uh, in the some champagne please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What in the, this is so cool, by the way. You remember the seating that I showed you guys from the back in the day seating? Delta has come a long way. This is actually leather kind of suede material. Wow. And this is what riding in luxury looks like. Take a nap on your flight. Well, Ike is 6'1", and he can fit in the sleeping seat on Delta Luxury. Love that. It's pretty cool. Okay, guys, this is the galley area. This is where they serve the beverages, foods of choice, whatever you like while flying. Welcome to the galley. Let's see what's upstairs. Okay, you guys made it to the top of this 747 aircraft and I wanted to show you guys the inner work in the interior area of this plane, of this aircraft. Take a look around. This is normally where seats will be. This is actually part of the museum, but we're gonna head this way towards the cockpit. More seating here, left and right. So now we are entering the cockpit and this is so dope. I normally would see cockpits from a distance, but not this close up, but you can see the different controls and the different modules that goes into flying this aircraft. Wow. Take a look at this here as well. You have all these switchboards, different gadgets to control this aircraft. This is amazing. You would literally have to come see this for yourself to get the full experience. Okay, so I'm leaving from the cockpit. All I can say that that was mind blowing. I've never experienced that before and I'm glad that you guys got to hang out with me to experience that as well. Um, hey, let's move on to the next. This is where the luggage cargo hold is underneath the plane. That's pretty cool. So dope, right? 747 Boeing aircraft able to come visit and tour this here at Delta. All I can say, you guys, once again, you will have to be here to experience this amazing experience. And I'm, um, hey, moving on to the next, you guys. Check out these massive tires. These tires are massive. Wow. It's crazy, ain't it? The fact that these big old wheels go up inside the plane when it's flying in crazy. operation time, that is amazing. I know I have been talking about scale all day in this video. But you guys, the size is gargantuan of these tires and the frame that hold it. 
it's just insane. Like all of this, and they're massive. What engineering. So I wanted to show you guys, this is how humongous the tires are compared to Danielle. Take a look. I can touch the underside of this plane. That's really cool. That's crazy, ain't it? A first. Wow. wow. to the aircraft model room. This is an exhibition supported by Pac-Man Incorporated, the Mary Alice and Bennett Brown Foundation Incorporation. Take a look at this. So as I'm entering into this aircraft model room, I can say honestly that Delta has come a long way with their designs of creating airplanes. They have a lot of different name brands of the airplanes. For instance, they have the Northwest, they have the Western, they have the NWA, let me zoom in on that one. They also have the Korean Airlines. And all I can say is I am blown away of the technology that Delta has created. Wow. Okay, y'all, check this out. So while I'm entering through here, guess what I discovered, you guys? Check this out. Amazing. Look at this massive, the spirit of Delta aircraft. All I can say is my favorite word, wow, wow, wow. And this goes to show you how big this room and hangar is and the aircraft. There's I. Okay, you guys, so we're headed upstairs. We're actually gonna go tour and see some more planes up here on the second level. Also, if you guys want the effect of a simulator here, the 737 Boeing aircraft, I will leave all the information down in the description box of the price for this, but it is a different price from the normal regular price here upon entering at the museum. So once again, guys, this is the simulator, Boeing 737. So we're able to go get an inside look at the Spirit of Delta airplane here at the museum. But first, we're going to be able to walk the gate. This is so cool. Okay, you guys, so we made it to the top. I want to show you the inside of this aircraft. I feel like we're going on vacation, right? Let's go to vacation. Let's go to vacation. All right. All right, you guys, I'm coming on the plane. Hey. Welcome to Delta Airlines. Yes, ma'am. Happy to have you. You can board. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Delta Airlines. You guys need to have your boarding passes ready and welcome. Yeah, keep moving <laughs> forward. Yes. Are you prepared for takeoff, ma'am? We ask that everyone please take their seats. The pilot has turned on the seat belt sign and he would like you all to take your seats. <laughs> You're fired, ma'am. So we're making headway on this aircraft to the back. And I notice the seatings are different from the other seats on the other aircraft excuse me yeah uh we do first class thank you so much what you going back there for Thanks. well i thought you said we mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <sighs> so we enter another cockpit area and this actually looks a little bit more spacious than the one we've seen before um it has one jump seat in the back and i think that was kind of dope Oh, that is bigger in there. Bigger, isn't it? Wow. Look at look look at, look at the um, top board display. All these gadgets just to run this one plane. Let's right. see. This says lights, flush <laughs> count, mirror. Wow. Okay. They have they have mirrors on the plane. Apparently. Oh wow. So what do you think about this? Um, did you film how small this bathroom was? Uh, no, I did not. In real life, I have a real claustrophobic like phobia over small spaces. But you know I what? If you like gotta go, so problem. okay, okay. It's tiny. Okay, you guys. So this is the restroom here on this aircraft. This is what it looks like. Sorry, I have to use the light because it's so okay. dark. Okay, you have your sink and you have your place where you do your business. There you have it. <laughs> Moving on. What are you doing? That's really cool. 
Oh, that's a phone? I think, I don't know, is it? Oh, wow. Welcome to first class. Yes, there you go. There you have it. Wow. Look at that old school thing. I love that they preserve that. Why don't they have phones on planes now? Because you people are all aggravating. You're mm, weird. Mm, mm, mm. And in this plane is the galley. And as you can see, we have some hardworking individuals in here making sure passengers are happy for Delta. That's a whole process there. This is really cool. All the details that go into it, all the items they have. This is really awesome. Okay, you guys, that's it for this video. First off, I wanna say thank you to all of you guys for hanging out with me. I had an amazing time and I hope you did as well. Listen, you guys, if you're ever in the Atlanta area, please come visit this museum. I'm glad we got a chance to see all of the aircraft that was designed by Delta Airlines and all of the hard work and effort that went into this. Technology has came a long way and I am so happy and pleased that I got a chance to see it evolve over the years. Please subscribe to my channel. Definitely hit that notification bell and always remember to guys just to don't stop. Keep flying here at Delta. Peace.